Hello students, let's learn about different kinds of animals in the lesson So Many Kinds of Animals. Let's see where we will find these animals. An eagle flies high in the sky. A cow walks on the ground. Fish swim in water. Let's learn about different colors of animals. The egret is white. The crow is black. The buffalo too is black. But the peacock has many different colors. Now let's see about their sizes. The horse and the bullock are large in size. The goat and the dog are of medium size. The mouse and the squirrel are small. The earthworm and the cockroach are smaller still. Gnats and ants are very tiny indeed. Now let's see how these animals move in different ways. A squirrel is a small animal. It is nimble. It climbs up a tree quickly and swiftly and runs along its branch. The elephant's body is bulky. Its legs are heavy. The elephant cannot run at any great speed. The deer has thin legs. It runs very fast. A frog's hind legs are long, so it can easily hop, jump and leap. Let's learn about animals that are useful to us. People love to keep animals. The dog guards our house. People like to keep cats too. Cows, buffaloes and goats give us milk. Some people keep hens. We get meat, milk and eggs from animals. Bullocks help with farm work. Hitched to a cart, they can draw heavy burdens too. Horses and donkeys too are used to carry burdens. We look after the animals we keep. We feed them. We take care of them when they are ill. The animals we keep become dear to us. Let's see about the animals who are known as gate crashers. Gate crashers means unwanted or not invited. Some animals enter our houses even though we don't want them. Mice and rats destroy stored grain besides gnawing other things in the house. Sometimes we find bed bugs in our house. They suck our blood. Spiders make cobwebs in the house. Mosquitoes, flies, gnats and cockroaches are a nuisance too. Even so, these troublesome animals too have an important place in nature. We have seen that animals around us can be grouped in different ways. We form these groups using our everyday observations. However, when scientists classify animals, they look at more important characteristics of animals. Let us see how they do it. Let's learn about the animals that suckle their young ones. The young ones of animals like the cow, dog, goat and rat grow up on their mother's milk. These animals have four legs. They have hair on their body. They have external ears. Animals that fly. Birds have only two legs. They have two wings to fly with. Their body is covered with feathers. There are differences in the flying ability of different birds. The eagle can soar high into the sky and stay in the air for a long time. But the cock does not fly high and comes down soon too. Animals that live in water. There are many different kinds of fish. They live in the water. Fish have fins. They use their fins to move in water. There are scales on a fish's body. Do you know a fish has gills behind its eyes? Fish use their gills to breathe in water. Animals that creep and crawl. Chameleons, house lizards and snakes are animals that crawl. They have scales on their bodies. Chameleons and house lizards have four legs but these legs are very short. The snake does not have any legs at all. Let's learn about insects. Butterflies have wings too. But we don't call them birds. They are insects. They are smaller than birds. Besides, they have six legs. Animals which have six legs are called insects. So, butterflies are insects. Mosquitoes, houseflies and cockroaches are insects too. Do you know, bats have wings but they don't have feathers on their body. Young ones of bats feed on their mother's milk. Bats are not birds like the crow, sparrow, parrot and cock. 
they are included in the group of the cow, tiger, deer and mouse. Always remember variety is the rule in nature. Thank you and please like, share and subscribe.